With this problem, we have to draw free body diagrams for the two objects in the system, in other words, M1 and M2. Let's consider M1 first. The forces acting on M1 are the force of gravity acting vertically downwards, that's M1g. The tension in the rope acting upwards along the slope, that's T. And the force of friction is acting downwards along the slope in the opposite direction to the movement of the block. In order to draw the free body diagram for this object, we will use a coordinate system whereby the x-axis is acting upwards along the slope and the y-axis is perpendicular to the slope. If we resolve the force of gravity into two components, one acting down the slope, that's m1g sine 30, and one perpendicular to the slope, that's m1g cos 30. We're now in a position to draw our free body diagram, which has just come up on the screen now. Um, in addition to the forces I had on the previous diagram, I've now got the normal reaction force, the purple vector there, N, which is perpendicular to the slope. The free body diagram for the other mass, M2, is now shown on the screen. Here we've got M2G, the weight acting downwards, and T, the tension in the